No sooner had we entered the seventh minute than a messy affair ended with Nygaard bundling the ball into the net. And only 18 minutes after that, another messy affair resulted in legal proceedings as Brahma was penalised for a trip on Cook. ex man Ainsworth stepped up to the spot and Simonson took full advantage of the resulting effort. That roused the Potters and Sweeney set off with Sigurdsson in support but he couldn't find the net and unfortunately neither could Chadwick. In the second half Ainsworth made a far better job of testing Simonson's abilities. In the 71st minute Sweeney and Bangora made way for Sidibe and Gallagher with the Scots first touch releasing Russell Goldwood. There was no debate over the penalty taker and Herfkins didn't disappoint. 73 minutes gone and it was one all, with Stoke on course to prevent that sixth straight defeat by the Rangers. But that wasn't enough to satisfy the management and offset Sigurdsson to prove once more that perseverance is the secret of success. Soon after he was at it again and this time he got the reward of his first Stoke goal and a hero's welcome from the travelling support. 79 minutes gone and 2-1 was enough to secure all three points for Stoke City.